We need to spend some proper time together. You've got back from the lockdown. No, but just the two of us, you know, catch up, talk. Hey, managed to dig my Christmas jumper out the loft. Good job, or I might have been barred tonight. A dress code. Veterinary knitwear with a festive twist and the first one to make a joke about Rudolph's bull ball. <laughs> wow. I thought I'd draw the short straw. I'm binge-watching box sets with your mother. Oof. What you make it, though, innit, eh? Christmas do. So that's what you're missing? Not exactly the Met ball, is it? Well, I'd say behave yourself, but uh, I won't wait up. Wow, thank you. Well, I mean, that's expensive looking. It's from me and Mum. Because she's missing Christmas. And how is your mother? Happy, working hard. Sends her love. Look what Ellis got me. That's nice. Coffee? You okay? Yeah, I will be. What's up? Yesterday I walked in on him and my dad at each other's throats again. <sighs> and why would that be, I wonder? I'll go. We wind each other up. Always have done. So you are back? I meant to call. That's my fault. Want to see my present? It's real gold. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Uh, April. I would have brought one for you, but I don't really know what you like. Of course you don't. Coffee? No, I'm late for work. Oh, don't take it personally. Blokes are like that. They don't do forward thinking. Yeah, that's why you got April a present and not me. Well, in my experience, random holiday presents, put it this way, you're better off without them. Oh, it's just a thought, though, isn't it? It's like I don't even exist. I shouldn't have to find out that he's home from somebody else. But now you have. And he's home. A night out wearing a Christmas jumper sounds like just what you need. <sighs> mm, well, I don't do Christmas jumpers. I forgot later I'm not clubbing in some comedy knitwear. Hey. I'll catch you later. Uh, I've got a quick call up at Wiley's. I need a signature from the boys and then we can release the compensation. Right. Um, and Paddy and Jamie are okay with that, are they? Ness, we owe them nothing. I may be menopausal, but I'm completely and absolutely sure I did not leave those gates open. Well, whether you did or didn't, we've accepted liability. So let's just all move on, okay? Yeah, let's just do that, shall we? Can I get off? I've got a blow dry booked. Yep, go, enjoy. Remember Paul Ramsey? He ran a practice in town a few years ago. Why would I? No reason. See you later. I know that you're mad at her, but it's Christmas. You're keen. Wow. Yeah, you're not meant to be here for about an hour. And neither are you. I came for a pre-party drink. Hmm, nobody told me. Well, we were going to text you when we were done. I need to update Jamie. Um, Nate and P accepted our offer of compensation. Right, well, I'll leave you to get on with it. I'll just be over here with Noel. Oh, hi. Uh, don't think we've met? No. Noel is an old friend of mine. This, uh, this is Vanessa, Jamie. They're my colleagues. Right, I'll give you a few minutes to uh, get Jamie up to speed, then I'll be with you to party hard. Hey, sorry I'm late. My nails went dry. Great hair. Thanks. Great Christmas jumper. Oh, sorry. We were meant to wear one. <laughs> Don't worry. You look fantastic. Thank you. Uh, why is Rona over there? Oh, catching up with some mate of hers, apparently. Mud wine and a mud juice for Belle? Uh, yeah, please. And then we'll play truth or dare. Anyone fancy a couple of shots? Not if Belle can't join in. Oh, no, it's fine. You guys go ahead. Well, I mean, after the compensation we've paid out, we haven't exactly got enough cash to be throwing around. So we'll stick with this. It's included in the deal. Sorry. Right, I'll send it to Paddy. He has got serious form or apparently they're working late tonight on the course. Oh, tell him we're missing him to come home. Room for another one? Everyone say anal glands! Anal, anal glands! glands. <laughs> oh. So, uh, what's the skinny on your mystery, mate? Oh, right, yeah. Just an old school friend. He was in the area. Just popped in to say Merry Christmas. <laughs> like you do. Gotta get out of here fast enough. Left his drink. Yeah, well, he got a phone call from home. An emergency. Anyway, enough about him. What about us, eh? Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> See, with the only ones he bothered to make an effort. 
if you can't wear a pair of velour antlers at Christmas. Well, we've got so much to celebrate, haven't we? I mean, I'm amazed that Pete and Nate aren't in having a drink or 15 on us. Maybe now's not the time. So, what's everyone doing for Christmas? Me? Yeah, I can't remember. But then you know how forgetful I am. Me, Charity and the kids. It's gonna be carnage. What are you up to, Bill? Uh, it's first Christmas without Mum and I'm turning 21. I am so sorry, I completely forgot. Belle, she would be so proud of you. Look at you, all grown up and gorgeous. It's her favourite time of year, isn't it? So she would not want us to be miserable. Same again. Yeah, yeah thanks. <clears throat> And how's it going in Supervet Corner? Huh? Are you having a Christmas stocking full of festive fun? Yep, loads. Great. You haven't even put your crackers yet. Yeah, saving them for later. Great. Anything else I can get you? Apart from a good time, obviously. Uh, right, I've got to go. Call Charity, I'll be right back. Yeah? Thanks. Well, I mean, I'll have another glass of mulled wine, seeing it's included in the party package. Yeah, not for me. Thanks, I'm going to get to leave. Excuse me. It's all right. It's not what brings us together as a team. I thought if we had some fun. Yeah, we are. Thought we'd have a few here. We'd all get on, call a cab into town, go dancing, let our hair down. Well, we still can, even if they don't want to. You're very sweet, Belle, but I'm pretty sure this has been the worst Christmas office party ever. <laughs> Let go spend some time with your boyfriend if you like. I'll do that any time. I'll call it any night. Um, hope you don't mind, but Charity's got the night off, the kids are out, so I'll just... It's been great, thanks, Jamie. Let's do it again soon. Yeah, next Christmas date. <laughs> Listen, you wanted a party, and we can have one. Just me and you, if you want. Yeah, count me in. I'll call a taxi. <clears throat>